Hi guys. This is Diagratech. Today, I will show you how to create one bootable USB flash drive with multiple operating system. We will store all your favorite operating system in just one flash drive only. Let's proceed. In my case, I want to create one bootable flash drive with all of these operating system in it. You can download these ISO files from the links on the description below. The Windows 11, Windows 10, Ubuntu and MX Linux. We will store it in this 32GB Kingston flash drive. First you need to consider two things. Make sure to back up important files from the flash drive because it will be formatted and make sure that the flash drive can occupy all of the ISO operating system images. Now, open your web browser and go to ventoy.net. We will check first the tested ISO. Under Windows you can see the tested operating system. Windows 11 is not in the list but I tried and run it several times without any issues. We will also run it afterwards. You can also see the Linux operating system supported. The Unix and it supports also VMware ESXi etc. Scroll up and go to Downloads. You will choose which operating system you want to run the application. Since I am using Windows 10 then I will choose Windows. During the time of this recording the latest release is 1.0.46. I recommend you not to use beta versions if you see one. Scroll down and you will choose how to run the application. I will choose Windows again. The file is approximately 12.5 megabytes only. Let's check the downloaded file. The file is compressed so we have to extract it first. Right click on it then extract files. Let's open the extracted folder. You can see the file name Ventoy 2 Disk. This is a portable file so no installation needed. Simply double click to run the application. It will automatically detect the inserted flash drive. You can verify by opening my computer and check the drive letter. If you have multiple flash drive or you cannot see your flash drive then click on the device to expand the list or you can click on the refresh icon. Once ready, click on install. A window will pop up telling you that the disk will be formatted and all the data will be lost. Click on yes to proceed. It will ask you for verification. Click yes again. It will now create the bootable USB flash drive. An error occurred during the installation. You can replug the USB and try again. I'd been trying to replug my flash drive but no luck, I even tried using different flash drive. I will show you how to solve this issue. If you haven't encountered this issue then you can proceed to the next step. You can use the timestamp. To solve this issue, go to search. Type CMD. Right click on the command prompt then run as administrator. We will run some few commands, I will attach these command on the description below. Type disk part and hit enter. Next type list disk and hit enter. You can see all your connected disks check what is your USB number carefully. In my case it's the 28 gigabytes which is disk 2. Now, type select disk with number which in my case is 2 and hit enter. Disk 2 is now the selected disk. Type clean then hit enter. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Next step is to create primary partition, just type create partition primary and hit enter. Succeeded in creating the specified partition. Now, type active to make the partition active. Next step is we need to format the flash drive. Format fs equals, 
and TFS label then your disk name. You can put any name since this will be renamed later on. It will now format the disk. This is not a quick format so it will takes time. I will fast forward the video. Lastly we will assign drive letter for the flash drive. Type assign letter and the flash drive letter you want to assign. Open my computer, make sure to not use the existing drive letter which is CD and E. We can use the next letter which is F. Hit enter. You can see the flash drive we just formatted. Now, let's run the application again. Click install. It will tell you that the disk will be formatted. Click yes to proceed. Click yes to verify. Wait for it to finish the installation. Awesome. It worked. Ventoy has been successfully installed to the device. Click OK. You can also close the application. Now, let's check the drive. Notice the drive has been renamed to Ventoy after the installation. Open the ISO operating system images. Open the Ventoy disk. You can see it's empty since the files are hidden. Choose the operating system you want to add then copy and paste it to the Ventoy drive. This will takes time depends on the size of the operating systems you added. I will fast forward the video. You can see that all the operating system ISO images has been copied. We will test the operating system especially the Windows 11. Let's first eject the flash drive. Let's now plug the bootable USB flash drive. Power on your computer. Enter boot menu. For this Lenovo it's F12. Now, select the bootable flash drive which in my case is the Kingston Data Traveler. Hit enter. You can see all the four operating system which we added. Let's test first the Windows 11. Use your up and down arrow to select. Hit enter once done. Great. I'd been using this Windows 11 to install on several computers. Now, let's test other operating system. Let's go with MX Linux. Great. MX Linux is also working. Lastly, we will test the Ubuntu. Awesome. Ubuntu is also working. To add more operating system. Just copy the ISO file and paste it on the Ventoy drive. Once done, eject the Ventoy drive and it's ready to install. It's very simple, easy, and very convenient. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.